Hi guys, welcome to Photoshop with me, Michael Turney. Today I'll be showing you how to convert your images into videos and then upload them to Instagram. So give them that kind of parallaxy feel to them. So if you go up here, go File and Open or Control and O. Find your image, select it, click Open. Once you have your image open there, click on your Layers palette here on the right. And so we want to get rid of this, uh, this lock here. So just double click that, click OK. It's got rid of it. We need to find out kind of how we want to separate this image to give it a parallax effect. So with this image, we'll probably want to bring this building on the left and the building on the right further forward. So we've got two items in the foreground and the bridge in the background. So we want three layers. So I want to duplicate this three times. So this will be a background, background. This one will be the left building and this one will be the right building. So we can hide the background and hide one of the other ones. Um, so we've got the left one selected, so I want to cut out this left building here. So if we select the left layer and click mask, and then you want to grab your brush over here, right click and scale this up to quite a quite sizable brush, there we are. And make sure hardness is on as well, on 100. So you can just kind of delete the rest of the image get rid of the layers so we can see what's going on. There we are. As you get closer to the image you'll probably want to bring your brush size down, down quite a bit. Like that. And zoom in and take out the rest of the detail. Right, we need to take out the more detailed parts here on the left. So what I recommend doing is getting another layer. So I click here to get a new layer, drag it to the bottom and click a color. So just get kind of like a like a bright color, maybe like red. And then just fill this uh, control and backspace or just use your fill. And then you can kind of see where what you need to cut out. Another great thing when you've got straight edges like this, uh, grab your paintbrush, make it a bit smaller. Go to the top, make sure the hardness is on again, and click there, and then if you hold shift and click at the bottom, that just drags it as a straight straight line. You want to roughly cut it out, kind of the best you can, but just do a rough job. And then just do the same going around and get rid of the rest of that detail. There we are, we're done the left side of the building now. If you had this layer and turn on the right side now, the right building we're going to do, click on that layer and add a mask to it. And just do the same with this side, so make the brush bigger and rub out the left building this side. And you'll see the red coming through again from the background layer, just so we can see what we're cutting out. There we are, now we have both the foreground items cut out, so if you turn the left layer you can see both the buildings and the background, so it's separated out. So we need to do a bit of cloning work, so if you hide both of the top layers, and now this is just your background layer, we need to get your cloner tool here on the left, size up your brush, but it's quite a smooth brush, like maybe in the middle. And now I want to start rubbing kind of away some of the buildings or cloning them out as far as we can. So if you hold Alt on the keyboard, click the sky near it, near it there, and just start clicking over it. Probably want the opacity quite high actually, 100%. If you do a softer brush, it should blend in quite a bit more with the building. We only roughly need to do this.
Once we've done this with the right side, we'll do the same with the left building. There we are, we have all three layers. So now if you turn the top buildings on and off, you can see that there's a bit of kind of leeway there to move the front buildings and you can delete the red layer below. You have to right click and go apply layer mask. Same with this one. Then we'll want to convert all of these to smart, uh, was it convert to smart object? There we are. Those to all your layers. And then we'll scale it from this point here. So don't forget to save control and S. Scale it to kind of what dimensions you want your animation to be. So for this video, we'll, we'll do it on Instagram, which is a one by one ratio, so it's square. So we'll just crop it. Crop it here. And we can still move your images in a minute. You also want to scale it. So you want to go to image size. I'll bring up this tab here. And you want to go to 1080 squared, 72 DPI. So it should say resolution 72 uh, PPI, sorry, pixels per inch. Then you click OK. This should be the scale we're working with. Now we need to start animating it. So we'll click our timeline, windows and timeline. Control and zero to fit your image to scale. Select all three layers and click create video timeline. This will bring all your layers into a timeline now. We'll probably want about three seconds, standard set to five. So we'll bring all these down to about three seconds. There we are. Now if you pull these, these arrows down, you'll see transform. So if you click the keyframe on transform there and move your slider here to three seconds, right to the end, we'll move this in. So if you grab this, right click and free transform, we'll scale it and move it as far out as we can without seeing the other building behind it and then click enter and then you'll see that's kind of scaling moving might also move this up a bit so it stays on that line there we are you can just test it until you're happy with that movement do the same with the left side pull back to zero go transform click keyframe three seconds right click free transform scale this up let's move it up and as far left as we can kind of get away with so around about there click enter and it'll automatically put the the second keyframe in there so now they're both scaling up and moving out a bit you can always move move them um move them further in Let's start. Just say so it looks like they're opening up a bit, a bit more. There we are. And with the background, if you just pull this down, click transform, move to three seconds, right click, free transform. Just scale this up a bit. Click enter. And there we are. Or parallax movement until we're happy with it. You can select all three of them and just have a bit of a, a movement from kind of left to right.
And if we just go up here, file, export, and you go render video. This menu should pop up. We'll just leave everything as standard for now. Name your image. Select your folder where you want it to be. H264, sounds good. Make sure it's all frames or your work area and click render. There we are guys, hope you enjoyed that tutorial. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe for more tips, tricks and shortcuts. Thanks for watching.